I am. Now, wanting compliments are fine, but if you feel like you are not a complete being unless he is always complimenting you, or even if he does compliment you and he says, Babe, you look really nice today, and you're like, No, I look fat and I look ugly and I have a role right here, and blah 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 blah, then that's just a sign of insecurity. <laughs> Dedication, Dedication, preservation, preservation, take a look inside, be your salvation, do every good work. What is up guys, Sophie here back with another video. If you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can stay updated on all my videos. And don't forget to check the description box because I always put a lot of stuff in there, including my book specifically for single women, which you can get down below. Now, what we are gonna be talking about today are some of the characteristics that turn men off. Yes, and if you notice that men are not giving you the time of day or a second chance or another date, then you might be a serial committer of these things, right? So first, being too rigid or being too stuck in your ways or being very inflexible. I think a lot of women do this and they are not aware. I have actually had female friends that I have noticed doing this and it makes me like, I don't wanna hang out with you. And this is just an example of when you're just too rigid. Oh, do you wanna go? No, I don't wanna do that. Do you wanna eat here? No, I don't wanna eat that. Well, and then we finally find a restaurant and we say, I don't like anything on the menu. I don't wanna try that. I don't wanna go there. I don't like doing that. I don't wanna do this. I don't, and it's just like a bunch of rigid things of what you don't wanna do, what you don't wanna try, what you don't like. And I think sometimes women, they just feel like, well, if I don't like it, then I don't have to do it. But at the end of the day, that's a very rigid mindset because if people want to get to know you, if a man wants to go out on a date with you, nobody wants to hear about a whole bunch of stuff that you don't want to do or you don't want to try or how you don't want to have fun or how you want to be inflexible or how you don't want to do this. Now, yes, there are certain things like if he says, I want to have an orgy or something, then obviously you don't have to try that. And women can be very shut down that if it is not their way, then it is a highway. They are very against fun. They are very against laughing. If they haven't tried it before, they don't want to do it. They don't want to go anywhere new. They don't want to get on a plane. They don't want to travel anywhere new. They don't want to stay in a specific hotel. They don't want to get on a ride. They, and you get the picture. So just know, like, just try to be flexible. And really, it just shows that you're very flexible and that you're willing to have Being fun. Being insecure. A lot of women once again have this. And so what this looks like when you are dating somebody is in, or you're in a relationship is that you need constant validation. Oh, I need you to tell me how awesome I am. I need you to tell me how pretty I am. Now, wanting compliments are fine. But if you feel like you are not a complete being unless he is always complimenting you or even if he does compliment you and he says, babe, you look really nice today. And you're like, no, I look fat and I look ugly and I have a role right here and blah, 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 blah. Then that's just a sign of insecurity and it's not a attractive because really you want to be confident in who you are and somebody shouldn't constantly have to feed in and validate you all the time in order for you to feel confident right another area of insecurity is if you are insecure regarding him it, now there are two parts to this if he has given you a reason to be insecure that's one thing but if he has given you no reason to be insecure and he's a completely trustworthy person and you're like texting him like why like what are you doing and then five minutes later why haven't you texted me back and then five minutes later what and it's like he was in the bathroom or something and then he comes back and this has happened to me before with a guy I literally went to go take a shower and I came back to 20 texts of this guy having a conversation from with himself between why aren't you answering my text between screw you and I'm like yo I was legitimately in the shower this shows a sign of insecurity that you feel like you know he always has to be attached to your hip you always have to know what he's doing you always have to be calling him or or if you're not in constant contact with him or you're very jealous that he's just always doing something behind your back and he hasn't given you reason because if he cheated on you before, then yeah, that's why you're insecure, right? But if he hasn't given you reason, then this is a very big turn off and that's not something that guys like. So you kind of need to be confident and secure in who you are and not need for them to constantly validate you and tell you how awesome you are. And if you don't get a compliment from them or if, you, or if they're not giving you what you need in that moment or you always need to feel validated by them, then you're gonna fall apart, that's a problem. And then second, secondary that you don't need to be attached to their hip and always be up in their mix always texting always calling calling their friends doing this doing that and just going above and beyond because you're very insecure about the relationship or you're just a very insecure person and it transfers into your relationships 
doing too much too soon. And I'm not sure why women feel that this is an attractive trait, <sighs> but they do. And so doing too much too soon is, to me, I just feel like when you date, especially if you go out on a first date, second date, your sole purpose is to just to get to know somebody. Don't attach a bunch of outcomes to the date because really you don't know if you want to even be seeing them a month from now or a year from now or two months from now so for you to go on a date and just be like oh in five months like the first date for example in five months i want to get married i want to have two kids i want you to meet my mom and then i want to meet your mom and then i have a vacation planned for six months from now do you want to go i want that is just doing way too much and it's scary because it, it, imagine if this and some of y'all might like this but to me if the situation was reversed and I was sitting at a dinner with the guy he was talking about me popping out his babies me having his children me doing I would be like okay dude like you don't know me from Adam and this is a little stalkerish and I feel like that's how men are because really you don't know them for at from Adam and so just trying to do too much too soon talking about your your future wedding and your future kids that is obviously a problem. Trying to move yourself into his house or even making decisions where you feel like, oh, we've been dating for a month now and now I need to move in with you. That is just too soon because I feel like guys can definitely stay grounded in this area and they can definitely have more of a logical viewpoint when it comes to this area that they can remain very logical and grounded in saying that when I'm just dating you, I'm just dating you. I don't know where this is going to go because I don't freaking know you. Women, we feel like as soon as we find somebody to date, that we have to sink our claws into them and then we just have to plan this big wedding or be their girlfriend or force ourselves on them or surprise them at their house and tell them that we're cooking dinner and they don't even know they don't they didn't even invite you and you just went on at your first date yesterday all of that is just doing way too much so don't do that another one is more of a self righteous attitude I'm talking about intentionally coming across as super holier than thou in order to prove something to somebody like if i'm out on a date with you and i'm like well i'm the type of woman where i work hard and i like nice things and i want to get married by 35 and i and i am all of that and i work out and i have a nice body and i have to do this and i'm a christian and i go to church every monday sunday and if i don't go to church then i feel then i'm the best one in my church and people always look to me for advice and i like to mentor young women and every Everybody likes me and I, it, at the end of the day the only thing that you have done is spoken about yourself and more than anything what you are doing is that you are being self-righteous and you are overcompensating because the example that I like to give when it comes to this and this is how much I have seen it is that I'm a female right you can clearly see this if I am on a date do I have to sit up here and tell you I am a female I am a woman I have lips I have female parts no I don't have to sit here and tell you that because you are looking at me and you can obviously tell that I am a female it it is the same when it comes to self-righteous behavior that when you overly brag on yourself or when you try to come off too braggy on yourself that it has the adverse effects because it kind of says that you don't even believe that you are who you say you are if you feel like you have to push and tell a man that in order for him to recognize it in you because if you really were who you say you were if you had all of these attributes that you said that you had then ultimately he's going to see that through getting to know you just like he's going to see that I'm a woman just by looking and talking to me I don't need to advertise him every single spot and blemish and genital parts that I have on my body in order to prove that I am a woman I'm just a woman that is what it is it's just same with you if you are a godly woman that should portray you don't have to I go to bible study three times a week and on Sundays I help the pastor and then I do this just to prove how godly you are or you don't have to do well I'm the type of woman that likes to take care of my body and I like to go to the gym and I like to work out and I like to do and I because if he sees you, then he, you know, and you are a fit person, then he can obviously tell that you're taking care of your body. If you are at dinner and you are ordering all vegetables and then he's like, oh, do you not eat meat? He could tell that. You don't need to advertise every little aspect about yourself because even though you're like, this is him getting to know me, it's not. It's annoying because it comes across that you have to portray yourself in a certain way. And sometimes that is a portrayal is not even true because I feel like when people go above and beyond and they feel like they have to advertise these things about themselves then nine times out of ten they don't feel like it's even true themselves and that's the image that they want to portray and they feel like if they don't portray that then the man won't see that in them but just like I said with the example with the female if you are 
that, then a man is going to see that within you, right? All right, so that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description box and I will see you guys another day, another time. Bye y'all. Not ready for the show to end? It doesn't have to. You can head over to my site where you can read hundreds of articles. And also you can feel free to shop my store where I have all of my products for sale. And last but not least, for even more video content, feel free to visit my YouTube channel where I talk about a wide array of content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time, stay blessed.